Hey, what is up, everybody? Let's go. It has been a hot minute since I've been on here. All right, let me get this figured out. Where is the lovely thingy right here? Hey, let me get my controller working. There we go. How is everybody? I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me turn my light off quick. That is so much better, like unbelievably better. Okay. Oh yeah, game. We've already seen this. <laughs> this is in Fortnite. Boy, I don't stream Fortnite. I mean, I would if I was playing with other people. No. <laughs> Start with file two. Absolutely. What do you think? I'm mean, gonna 360 no scope people and Paper Mario or what? Do we get to go to Glitzville? Heck yeah! WWE time. Oh yeah, brother, macho man. Get to do my Randy, Randy Savage impressions. Um, let me take a look at stuff and make sure we're up to speed. So I got five Shine Sprites. So we could upgrade Flurry, but I think I'm going to wait. I don't really want to upgrade Goombella either. I'm not going to waste Shine Sprites into... Yeah, Coops. Coops. I said Coops. God, I can't talk today. Coops could... Coops could 100% 360 no scope. Yeah, with this shell. He should. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Absolutely. Ah, oh, please. Allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Does it sound like I'm echoing at all? Or is that just me hearing my voice really loudly on my own headphones? A blimp time, let's go. We go on the blimp and that's like the Hindenburg and starts on fire. Oh, he can do it with the Baron. M82. Oh my god. Chip. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. It's WWE time. Macho Man versus Hulk Hogan. Let's go. I wonder if they actually based like the Rock Hawk against the Rock. I wonder if that's what they based it off of. Nintendo. Nintendo's biased towards the Rock only. They don't count any of the other wrestling stars. Placing your bets on Batista. Batista bomb my way through this. I wonder if I can actually get through this entire chapter in the time it takes me usually to stream. And to Glitzville we go. Oh yeah, this would be Glitzville alright. How do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? This is easily one of my favorite chapters of the game though. It's very battle heavy, like anything else. I mean, it's an RPG. 
for gosh sakes. But time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready too, Coops. Bet. So we got a little bartender. We pretty much got a little bar over there. That we have to wait for the boots, I want to say, maybe? Oh, never mind. Oh! I think I always forgot about that block being there. And it's Goombella with the steel chair! With the steel chair? Oh, I know you meant the steel chair. And Flurry's jumping off the ropes and slamming on him. She's just blowing them away. And then you get the little Yoshi that pretty much spits them out and turns them into eggs. Destroys them. Oh, look at little hot dog stand. How ironic. You got a little piggy here sell hot dogs. What are the hot dogs made out of? Are they not made out of pork? Are they beef, beef hot dogs? Like the picture of the turkey at Thanksgiving, it's like eat ham. He's <laughs> got that sign over there. Eat beef. And then it's got a picture of a cow. Alright, so we have to... Oh yeah, the pork. Dude, seriously though. It's our first fight that we get to watch. The Rock Hack! Against the Koopanator, I think his name is. I think it's the Koopanator? Wow, this place is so cool. Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. Wow. That's right. Oh, uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the... Ooh! Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups, then you come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mom. I mean, he might like spanking, you don't know. <laughs> We're not about the kick shame here. Ooh, yee, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who could challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock Hawk is the champ. Oh, uh, you see that, Mario? That thing on a shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle's a crystal star. Um, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we could just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we... What should be our move here? Battle our way to the top. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. Of course, all you gotta do is become the champ, get that belt fair and square. I mean, I'm gonna tell you that, but I'm actually gonna steal it. <laughs> I'm gonna steal it when you're not looking there, cool. So you think I got that moral integrity, but in honesty, I'm just gonna take it when I want it. Mm -hmm. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find this guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Yeah, you're getting anxious just like me, Coops. It's okay. Hey there, Mr. Mustache Guy. Where's Prince Mush? I don't know. Boy, I don't even know who Mush is. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you got to go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Thank you. All right, that's not his office. But yeah, this chapter is fantastic. You pretty much get to have a bunch of battles. It's nice. It actually has a relatively like decent, like deeper lore to it too, which is amazing. 
What's that? You want to become a fighter? Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. This office right here. Nice. I'm going to give Mr. Grubba, like, the highest voice I could. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yeah, that me, Grubba. <laughs> I can't. And you here, one rude dude, coming in without knocking. What? Now, an athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Ooh, -wee, that do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and cover. Yeah, this place packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a roaring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Yeah, he's a plumber. I don't think that counts as an athlete. I mean, he's running those pipes like nobody's business. Now play with straight, son. You gonna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear where you come from, son. Loud and clear. I mean, he's an athlete in, like, the sports games. So you got, like, Mario Soccer, Mario Baseball. He's pretty much, like, uh, Jack of all trades. He does everything. Good old Mario. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And you know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I just can't mix it up in the ring no more. But I earned enough to set me for life. You read me, son? Dreams like dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours. Exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's what the winners say. And when you make it big, look back at all the small dreamers and laugh. You read me, son? What are you, a book? I gotta read you? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little walkie talk. Come on, man. All right, Gravel, where are we going? Please don't take me to your playpen. I can't afford that anymore. Rubless Play Palace. Now how you like this part? Just feast your eyes on it. Go on, this is the champion's room. Isn't it sight deluxe? You become champion, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself, a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh-huh. <laughs> here we have the... Here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Is that like sanitary, like COVID conditions? Is there a sport that Mario hasn't appeared in? I think rugby. Rugby, he's not in. I don't think he's in football, like actual, like football. Like, I don't think he's been in like actual like football at all. He's been soccer. No football americano though, as the Spanish would say. Now I'm sure you know this ain't already, son, but this ain't one world tournament. Mario Party. Oh, he plays football in there? Is there a football minigame? Clawing your way to the top and talking that bell to become the champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if it were no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. I'd start singing the song, but you know I get copyrighted and my channel will be gone. <laughs> You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never be so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, enough. one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty little contract to be a fighter. You gotta sign your life away? 
So I didn't blood. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? Mm, I don't think so. Grabby Gridiron and 8. Oh. I guess I'm not familiar with all the mini games. You signed the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario? Ain't a bad hand. Still, I gotta say, pard, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Who? Ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep. Everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Try to think of what voice I want to give her. Yes, sir. I'll just do my regular voice till I can think of one for her. Yes, sir. You wish, you wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is our great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league rocker room. <laughs> rocker room. Locker room. Alrighty. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you're a contract fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. I have to eat my own turds out of the toilet, even if he says that? That's disgusting. That's the one thing I could think of, and the other stuff you probably, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Please tell me you read the small print because you have signed your life away and now we own you. All merchandise will go through us and we will make all the money while you just sit here and make Jack Diddley squat. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. Oh my god, it's dingy in here. You're starting in the minor league, of course. You just started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way through the ranks. Oh, he does play rugby and Mario and Sonic Olympic. Oh my god, he's played everything, though. I'm trying to think of any other sport. Swimming as Mario swam in that game, too. Yeah, he's probably... Yeah. yeah. Swimming. What's that one... Polo, isn't it where you ride horses and you gotta like throw the ball or something? There's like a polo that you play. I don't know if he's played that one. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you, you'll you match against. You'll have no saying this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. Welcome to the automated reservation system. What is your command? Reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. You're gonna first battle against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everybody fired up. So at least fire... Let's, so I at least appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detailed rule? Just ask my lovely Miss Jolene, okay, though? Well, good luck, pod. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. 
In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranking opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? No! Oh, I did. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, where they are. Oh, Lord. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the rig. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. I bet. Take me there. Take me to the fight. Square it off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with hankering for him, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have set up their way, have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you do, Goomba Bros? How you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Huh, are you kidding me, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot? That's who. Wayne just makes us mad. We're going to teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. Dang, dude, you're like the encyclopedia for, Mar for Mario Sports. <laughs> Hasn't played actual polo, but he's played Marco Polo. Did you just look up what sports Mario's played? Or did you look up every one of them individually? If you did, I would be, like, mad impressed. Either way, I'm impressed with either way. That's just dedication. I think you might... I'm sounding like Hank Hill. Whoa! I sell propane and propane accessories. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him. Just to save time later. No, he met Marco Polo. <laughs> Diggity dang, fight fans, here comes the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts, strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up, let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bomb. Have a bomb, punk. Hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Oh, qu oh quit crying, will you? That's just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Oh, you'll get your thank you. Trust me. All right, so each one has like a battle condition like they're explaining. Sometimes you gotta appeal. Sometimes you can't use your hammer. Sometimes they just don't want your partner to fight or don't want Mario to fight. Essentially, if you don't do them, you don't get to level up to the next person. So then you just have to keep going until you battle. The finish. The great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was his first taste of victory like? That fight? What a joke. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzalez. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son. Fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know. Pump him up more. I'm hoping you'll give, give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other. Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene will give you your fight money. See ya. Mario's Time Machine 1993. He was also declared an honorary member of the Polo family and given the name 
Mario Polo. Like oh it. I picture like a whole like fan fiction, or like how was the. I don't want to say fan fiction because I think that's just taken like pervy all the time. Like it'd be like a hentai or something. That's not what I'm trying to come across. I see like a actual like just fan story, like somebody actually writing like an entire story about that, like a comic strip. Or I see that being an old timey kind of comic strip that people have. That he's actually going on a time machine and meeting people. Or is that an actual game? I feel like you're just fucking with me, though. Here's your five money, Mr. Gonzalez. You got three coins. Yeah, when Nintendo does it themselves. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up till you set select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you want. Whatever you like until your next fight. That I will. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. You too, Jolene. Oh, Jolene. 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 Oh my god, my voice is not made for singing. But you know, I keep trying. I keep trying every time, and I just get booed, and then I get paid to sit down. No. <laughs> now we're talking about karaoke. Yo, Brooke, how your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just like a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, now you got to know each other, I'll give you advice. Boom. I just do the bomb noise instead. As Miss Jolene was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you'll get to fight the higher rank foes. Boom. If you can't clear them, you boom end up battling a lower ranked fighter bomb. You can't climb the bomb ranks, fight in the bottom of the barrel. Bomb bomb. Yeah, my man, you know, he's got some speech issues, but he's got some good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, bomb. Oh, advice is always useful. Bomb, bomb. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not here in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, and if you sleep in that bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. This last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleptor. Grat, Klepto, no, no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Klep dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you'll get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something? Ask us. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You and me eventually gonna square off. So, good luck, man. Alright, so I'm gonna go to bed like they said. Do you want to take a rest? Absolutely. I wonder if Nintendo actually did have, like, comics back then. I learned a lot of Nintendo lore, ironically, from playing Pikmin. Which I think is a cool way that they could actually show, like, the history. And Nintendo started off as just, like, a card game company. Like, they played, like, they made playing cards, of all things. I think that's so fascinating. They started there, and then look at where they're at now. It just goes to show you that like anybody can get where they want to get. You just have to start and just keep learning. And that's all Nintendo really did. And they kept just shooting their shot, basically. That's all you really have to do. Have you started streaming your Pokemon White, I believe you were saying? White or Black? I know it was that generation. Fifth gen? Have you started streaming that again yet? Well, boy, howdy. Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be 
ranked 18 in the glitz pits, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Hey, dog, looks like your next match against is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. What was the condition? Match no reserve. KP Koopas ask you to defeat them with five or less. Okay, all right, bet. that's easy enough. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. I'll give you the Hank Hill voice, maybe. For your next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner and the Great Gonzalez and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KB Coopers. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we gotta square off, and now it's on. Like Donkey Kong. Get yourselves ready to battle! Defeat your opponent in five turns or less. Absolutely. Uh, then we'll go ahead and power shell. Cause they'll still take two damage. Yep, perfect. Haha, <laughs> bye bye! No damage for me. Oh, you sucker. Uh, we'll take down this one because he's got less health. We got you. Oh, no! That's okay. Koops is gonna heal relatively quickly. Come on, I gotta get those action commands back. Oh, we're gonna take less damage. Less damage. What are we taking? What are we taking? We've been getting that more than anything right now. And you did no damage to me whatsoever. Get wrecked. I think we get the hammer upgrade, I wanna say, after the in Blitzville. You got one star point. Got the hammer upgrade up here. We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez. We won? Cool. Damn right, Coops. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received four coins. Mario's ranking rose to 18. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Bye bye. I do the same thing with my glasses as she does. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Swing the other way, like, sexually? No. <laughs> Perks of being bisexual, you swing both ways. What is your command? I don't think that's the way he meant it, though, either. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty, then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 17 in the glitz bits, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want to, I want you to avoid using any of their special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice, nice long battle and simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't do a grandstand. Yeah, so I don't really use the special moves in this game to begin with that much. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. All right. So I don't really use the special moves too much in this game, just because I I don't think there's any like moves that I really care to use, besides the art attack. I like that. I think the art attack is probably like one of my more favorite moves, just because they're more like action based. The first one I think you get, so we have the sweet treat, and then you have the earth tremor, and then I think the other one just like weakens them a little bit, which I don't find them that particularly useful. And then there's an advanced version of the Sweet Treat, which I like. I like that one because you'll get more health, more FP, 
And they'll have the big ones in there. That's nice. And then I think there's another one, but I don't remember what the last one is. But the main one I use is just the Art Attack. The Art Attack one, you actually get the draw and kill your enemies relatively easily. I love that star power with the passion in this game. For your next opponent, we got the Merciless Executioner and the Brain Gonzalez and the Spectator Triplets. Get a fight to finish with the Pokey Triplets. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Dude, you're not in my way, Coops. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourself ready to battle! Don't use special moves. Not even a problem. I don't think I have the Quake Badge. Yep, I do not have the Quake Badge equipped right now. So we'll just go ahead and hit them. And then I will use Coops. Oh, that is perfect. Now, can one hit the one in the middle? I can kill him one shot. Oh, shucks. Oh, well. Yeah, otherwise, like, each battle and, like, the actual characters that you're battling, like, they all have, like, a personality. Like, they took the time to, like, put that into the characters where it's not like you're just battling, 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 battling. Like, they actually have a little bit of depth to it. Which I think is interesting in this game, and they all have that little bit of personality, which I just, I love about this chapter. Like, they could have easily did it where they just had, like, fight after fight and just didn't put any effort into it. But... A little bit of effort goes a long ways in anything, man. That's a beautiful thing. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario! Wow! I had no doubt, Coops. No doubt whatsoever. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received four coins. Mario's ranking rose to 17. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. You see, my favorite anime is on, and I have to go watch it right now. Yo, what's cracking, G-Man? You just beating down some poor fools or what? You looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in here, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that. Two, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pits. Understood? Again, dude, man, you just can't. You just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Oh, don't sweat it, B Money. Jolene can take that too and shove it up her nose. Why? Why you always chasing that girl? Anyway, man, you got a little thing for her? Shut up, K. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I'll be off. Dude, you just got kicked out, bro. Don't be dumb. All right, let me go ahead and rest real quick. And then we'll just keep plowing our way down the roster. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix a little fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me see. Your next opponent will be rank 16 in the glitz pits. The dead bone. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid switching your partners out. Gotta go with who brought you. A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in here and stand by your part. I mean, I don't use the other partners to begin with. So that's fine. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me. Come with me if you want to leave. Gonzalez, it's match time.
For our next battle. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, Greg Gonzalez, and the pole banging rockets. Yeah, fight to finish with the dead bones. Dude, you're never on my way, Coops. We're gonna take the skin off your bones, I tell you what. Get us in ready to battle! Don't change partners. I don't see that as an issue. And they're dead. Bye bye! I switched my partners with him going fast, but I didn't like switch my partners. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario! Wow! Good old dialogue. Just keeps repeating itself. Here's your five money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received five coins. Mario's rank rose to 16. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get going. That anime rerun is just fantastic, and if I miss it, by golly, I am just in a pickle. Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting it. And if anyone gives you lip, you just tell King K said to back it up. Big ah bizarre. Ah, it hurts. Keep quiet. My foot. Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ooh. Do we have a gag? Maybe. Come on, get a grip, will ya? Mommy! Out of the way here. Whoa, dude, sounds like some poor sucker and himself a trip to the hospital. Hey, man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. It is, dude. It's a nice little, like, real fight it's compared to, like, other, like, wrestling stuff. Well, you got UFC, which is obviously real, but... I think that was always just, I didn't really understand that WWE was like fake. I guess I never like, I never really grew up watching it, WWE, till my, all right, he's saying the same stuff. I'm not gonna really care about rank 15, Spike Storm, and then avoid switching your partners out. All right, that's fine. I'm not gonna read it every time. But WWE, I didn't personally like, grow up watching it myself but my stepbrother would watch it all the time and i go over to his place and we'd watch Wrestlemania and all that otherwise like I personally just never really was too interested in wrestling but like just noticing that it was like actually like fake I think it was just a weird kind of thing. I guess I didn't really notice it. Maybe I'm just not that observant. Alright, so we have to attack you right away. Kill you, hopefully. Oh, god dang it. Can I attack them, or is their defense infinite? Yes, that's it. Nice. Okay, you're gonna get Thunder Rage on me. You are a wonderful piece of shisa. Confused? I'm always confused. I don't know how we're gonna kill these things. Unless... Get a mystery and maybe get something good. Let's see. Let it be something good. Let it be something good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what the... I don't need the Superman cape. I mean, it's... It's alright. Let's go ahead and use another item. Use other mystery one. Come on. Something good. Thunder Rage. Thunder Rage. Thunder Rage. Thunder Rage. Please, please, please. Please. Oh, Mushroom. Alright. Well. Let's heal him. I can't switch my partner out at all. Which I don't think it really help if I switch my partner out anyway. I think I just essentially blow him away. Which that wouldn't really do too much. Otherwise... Yeah, we got Clock Out, Earth Tremor. Not really anything too special. Dizzy Dial, I'm gonna go ahead and use. 
try to confuse them the best they can. I don't know if those... I don't think they can get affected by it. Oh, they can! And then I'm going to power smash and see if that does anything. That does one damage. That's rough. Oh, that is rough too. Okay, I still got plenty of time to do this. So we just had to stop on the... Oh, come on, bro. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna be on Dizzy in a while. I don't know why I'm using all these Dizzy, <laughs> dizzy dials. But... So hopefully they're attacks this. Alright, so now my thing wore off. I can go ahead and jump on you. Those other enemies are basically impossible to hit right now, I believe. So we'll go ahead and hit... Hit a honey syrup. This battle is just going to take so much longer because I don't have the earthquake hammer attached. Sadly. I should have it attached. I'm going to attach it after this fight. I mean, I could use the Earthquake, like, actual, like, special, special move. I don't think it would... I would probably miss terribly. Alright, so then I'm gonna go ahead and Power Smash you, and then you're dead. And I just have the other enemy left, that's it. Either way, we're gonna heal, so I'm not concerned about using a bunch of FP as long as we have enough for the battle. Oh, you shit ass. Go ahead and defend. And you're gonna attack me. Oh, perfect! That saves so much sanity right there in itself. And you're done. Oh my god, dude. I haven't got that one ever. That was fantastic. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. We won? Cool. Dang right, Coops. It's pretty easy stuff here, man. Here's your fight money, Gonzalez. You make it up to the big leagues. You receive five coins. Mario's ranking rose to level 15. Now, if you excuse me, I must really get going. This hentai is limited time only. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stands outside got a new menu item. Yeah, it sounds like some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fools even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snack out on one. Ooh. A hot dog with an egg on it. I gotta say, that's the first time I've actually tried to like think of that combination. That would be an interesting combination. A hot dog with an egg on it. I wonder what would be better though, like throwing scrambled eggs on a hot dog or having it sunny side up. I feel like poached would just be a fucking mess. Complete, just terrible. <laughs> oh my god, my fan, oh my god. I'm such a number one fan. No, bad, very bad, behave yourself, egg. No, bad, come back, help! My imported egg escaped, somebody catch it! Come here, little eggy. Come here, little eggy. Get out of the way, Toad! I play a whack a mole with this egg. Oh, use a spin jump on it? Bet. 
Yeah, Toad, I'm not trying to have a conversation with you. Toad, I'm not. Should be able to get it. Come on. Maybe the turtle shell might be easier. Like that doesn't matter. So bad it doesn't even off arms and legs, yet I still can't catch it. My menu was gonna have a southern fried egg dog of tastiness. Now bad. I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping too. Don't just stand there, help catch it. Were you paying? Come on, egg. I feel like you have to spin jump on it. I think that's what the guy said. I feel like me trying to hit that egg. I feel like I just gotta stay in one spot. Yeah, I, I know, buddy. You had to pay shipping, yeah. Cry me a river. Yeah, I know, buddy. Try! I feel like I just wait for it, too. Maybe I should use Flurry. Flurry might be a better option. Oh! I switched Flurry and it automatically just goes to the top. I feel like that's not the way it was supposed to happen, but you know, it, it, it happened. Most awfully bad! Come down from here, bad egg! How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? Well, they said when pigs fly. You gotta fly, little piggy. You gotta fly to the sky! You, don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. I gotta solve all your problems. Oh, it's sleeping. Oh, hey, look at me with my picture of the hot dog. I'm a hot dog now. All right, so I have to get up there. I believe you get to turn into a little handy dandy airplane. So we have to jump on this lovely switch right here. There we go. And then we got a staircase. We get up there. And then I have to bounce up to the top. And then I get to become a handy dandy airplane. Power plus partner badge. Oh, you know what? I kept talking about it. We gotta get that quake badge on here. Oh, uh, that one's not really that useful. Where's the quake badge? I know I have one. There we go, quake hammer. Absolutely turn that thing on right now. I think it will be so helpful when we have Koopas on the ground. So then we can turn them upside down literally just slaughter them with Koops. I don't even stand a chance. And then I fly my little paper airplane over here. Ooh, did I make it? Oh! Yes. Hey, now you wish for me to help you, darling egg. Mario, huh? What we ought to do? Let there be hot dogs. Mario, you wash your mouth out right this instant. How dare you frighten this egg? Well, I never. Little eggy, why don't you ignore this scary man, okay? We will let you go. You, sir, Mr. Proprietor, would you allow us to free this poor soul? Oh, fine. Most people don't like eating that stuff that jumps over the place anyways. Well, that's just lovely. You're free to do whatever you like, dear egg. Farewell. Hmm. What is that, dear? You wish to accompany us? You adorable thing. I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What should we do? No! Jumping eggs bug me. Okay. You're all, you're all clear, little one. But do try not to get it. Underfoot. All right. Oh, we got the little egg with us. Bet. Egg. Excellent. You got an email. As you travel, you may receive email on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox SP. Press start slash pause to access the menu and check your email. You'll find it under important things in your gear screen. Check your email. You never know what you're gonna find. 
I don't want anything on my email. All right, I should probably check on my potatoes in the oven. They've been in there for almost an hour now. It's looking like we're an hour in. I will be right back. My potatoes out of the oven. Delicious bulk season, my dude. a heal? I can't remember. No. Okay. So a match. Hand it over. I want to see what you got to do to beat a fellow. But I think he's had no hammer, right? No hammer, no jumping. Don't use your hammer. Okay. Gonzalez matched it. As long as I can attack them and actually do damage to them without my hammer, I'll be good. If I can't do damage to them without my hammer, then it's like, what the hell? Oh, 
the super shine sprite over there too. I'm not too concerned about the... Are we gonna get one? I haven't got a single one the whole run so far. I haven't got a single one. I'm gonna take my dry shroom. Bet, go ahead and take it. You have it. I don't want it. I want that right through. There's so many people playing Paper Mario right now. I picked a crazy night to play Paper Mario. Oh. You hear the latest G Dog? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig. Check her out for me, man. First of all, I'm gonna heal. I only got 9 HP left, man. What the heck am I gonna do with that? talking about the ladies there no I guess usually you get like a hammer I think or something oh yeah we get the hammer later though I thought we got the hammer already I'm like dang I'm like that quick ready getting the hammer the El Martillo Stupid fruit flies. They're in here because I have bananas.
No flower points. All right, that's fine. That's doable. So I can't use any flower points. It's gonna be doable, but not exactly my favorite. So we'll damage you, take you out, take you out. We're basically, just gonna have to take them out one at a time. Attack me once or twice. Okay, just once. I'll take that. And then attack the spider. Okay, so now the spider only has one HP. And I can attack you because I can't attack the spider with him, technically. Big dum dum. Big dum dum. Can't attack the boy that's got one defense, my dude. I'm gonna do nothing. We did it, Mario. Wow. Here's your fight money, Gonzalez. You've received six points, Mario's ranking level 13. Now if you'll excuse me, I must get going. Bye bye. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig. After the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man. That for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget. Promise me you won't forget. You once knew the King K. Oh, dude, that is. Saying goodbye at any point in time is sad. But I feel like if you have just a hard time saying goodbye and you just stay there longer than like you should, I feel like that's not helpful in the slightest either. Like leaving anything just it sucks. Like it just Sometimes it will I mean it'll suck regardless. Like you couldn't even hit okay, avoid switching my partners out, yeah, that's fine. But even if it was like a rougher like situation or anything, just leave it because I feel like most people have like some sort of like emotional connection to things. I know I do, like even like hard situations, like I've had like very like just negative people in my life or rather like just traumatizing like situations, like it still sucks. It's like in the moment you might feel like you don't deserve anything better or a little bit of that but then just having that emotional connection to it i know for me like i'm a vastly just emotional person and i try not to overwhelm people with all my emotions because my emotions in my own head like overwhelm me and i need to like just kind of get them out but so like I've been told by multiple people too that are just around me that they're like, you know what? We'd rather have you be over emotional than just not be emotional at all, have no emotions. And I'm like, that's fair. So I think we can use Quake Hammer on them. I don't know if they'll tip. They do tip actually. That's fine. I don't really care that I'm busy. 
Because I already practically took him out. What do you think about that? Like, just saying goodbye. Like, goodbye is typically when you're leaving and going on to something different. It's typically not convenient. But it's what you ought to do. It's the lesson that I've been learning over and over again. And I've been trying to think about, like, what I want to do with, like, my life. And I keep getting... For a lack of a better term, I keep getting pressured by other, like, outside sources. They'll get pressured by my... We got the bomb squad. I don't remember what he said. I skipped it now. What does he want us to do? Take damage from that three times. Okay, that's fine. So literally just had to take damage from me, take damage from Koops, and then take damage from me again, and then Koops can just balls the wall rush him. But like just saying goodbye and like trying to move on to other stuff, like I get a lot of outside pressure right now from my dad. Like he'll get on me about He's like, oh, you can't stay at your job forever. Like, what are you doing there? Like, are you going to school? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I tried, like, looking into school and seeing if that's what I wanted to do for sure. The big bomb boomers. Oh, my God. The boomer. Who would have thought he would have been at the top? But I just... You don't... I typically just don't, not typically, I, don't, I can't even talk today. I just, I don't know really what I want to do in life. I know that just being able to stream on here is enjoyable. Take damage three times. So I've taken damage three times. I've taken damage four times. Okay, so is that... Good enough, maybe? I would think so. If it's not, we'll redo it, I guess. Oh, bye bye. But I think just try and explore my options, and it's hard. It's like I have so many different like things in my head. I'm like, I think of stuff I could do, like I could. I'm so passionate about exercising and I could try to help people in that. I thought about pursuing like being a personal trainer potentially. And I feel like that would be enjoyable, that'd be fulfilling. I think about that. Food, I love food, I'm very passionate about food, like cooking, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know if I want to like go into like a cooking like culinary school and then maybe I wouldn't if I do it as a job then I wouldn't really enjoy it as much I mean that's the biggest thing that I've just kind of learned with stuff where it's like if you're liking do it if you, that's the biggest thing like if you enjoy doing something I get that you'll never work a day in your life again but at the same time like there's certain hobbies that you don't want to pursue as a job because then you don't really want to do it in your off time like, I've noticed just from doing this, like, I enjoy streaming, I enjoy, like, connecting with people in chat. But I don't enjoy playing video games as much outside of here. Like, I just don't really enjoy it. Which is fine, because I don't need to play video games all the time. Like, I'd rather be outside the house doing something. I mean, in the wintertime, I'm not going to be able to get outside the house as much, unfortunately, besides going to the gym and walking to work. But... Just finding something that I enjoy doing, and then I think about like all the trades fields and everything. Because my grandfather, he was a welder. And my uncle, he drives truck. I believe he has the CDL. Next opponent will be the Armored Harriers. And what do they want me to do? In the sun, I want you to use at least one special one. Alright, that's fine. But I try to think about that, it's like... I get told that I shouldn't just work at a convenience store, a gas station, my whole life. It's like, yeah, it's like, okay. It's like, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, but I don't want to go to graduate school and just rack up a bunch of debt. I'm like, that's not a smart decision, because that doesn't guarantee you a job either. 
I could do that. Just rack up a bunch of debt, which I pretty much am, like, racked up the debt that I already have. And then I have my bachelor's degree. But I don't really know what I want to do with my bachelor's degree. And then you get told just by smart alecky people, which I'm a smart aleck myself. But I think about people are like, oh, well, you use it when you use it. It's like, okay. So I'm trying to think about how I could really, like, implement it and do it. Then I thought about, ironically, going into the military for a while there, because it's like I could be pretty much have an officer rank and make, like, 38,000, which is a little bit more than what I make now. And then... It's pretty much just being, like, a leader like I am already, like a shift leader, but pretty much for the military. And then you get a lot better benefits. I've looked into it. You actually get, like, for the most part, I think, tax-free income. And then you get a bunch of benefits, like... It treats you pretty well, and if you want to go through the military and you can grind it out, like, by all means, for at least 20 years, I think I want to say? Yeah, you grind it out for about 20 years and you get a military retirement, which you get amazing benefits for the military, too, just besides all that stuff. I thought about doing that. I thought about going into like HVAC, like how my buddy. See, I just terribly. I'm so terrible at that. I actually command for some reason. Not gonna do any damage to them, anyways. Can we even like dizzy dial them? Will it even do anything? I don't think it will. Humor me. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, so they pretty much had to take me out, I believe. So I can't do anything to them. I mean, I've thought about, like, so many, like, just different career fields and trying to think about exactly what I want to do, and it just... Nothing really sounds too appealing. That's the hard part. Which is a good and a bad thing. I guess, if you think about it. if it's a good thing... Then it means that like all the other stuff's just not really working for me. And the stuff that is working for me, I should just keep pursuing like this, how I enjoy doing this, and just keep learning about it. Keep learning about different tools, how to make my sound quality better, how to keep making my commentary better, my commentary better. My commentary is only gonna get better with time and practice and just keep doing it. Otherwise just keep grinding it out and enjoy doing it and connecting with as many people as possible. I don't know, it just feels really fulfilling, because it's like, I feel like the vast majority of other people know more than me. Like, I'd rather be, I'd want to be in a room full of intelligent people, because for the vast majority of time, those people actually know much more than me, and I can always learn more from them. And I find that very fulfilling, because I'm just an information sponge, I like learning about everything and anything. And just trying to apply myself in many different circumstances. And I feel like that's something, like, just a streaming, like, you can pretty much do. It could fulfill, like, just a whole lot of needs, too, man. We got a winner, the armor carriers! <laughs> I do like that. We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pumpkin pie, have a bath and come back. Come on back. Huh? Here's your fight money. Yeah, one dollar. One coin. Remains at eleven. If you'll excuse me, I must be going. Bye bye. What are you doing, Jolene? Uh, hey Mario, did you notice that little bouncy egg isn't here? Where do you think it went? Yo. Which color Yoshi we get? Oh, we get the original! Original Yoshi! Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound! Thanks, man! Um, what? You hatched out of that egg? That's nuts! So you're a Yoshi, huh? Yeah, but who cares? You guys wanna be champs, right? You want crystal star? I heard all about it when I was in that egg! Yeah! Anyways, I gotta repay you for saving me from that old hoggle out there. So I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I can swallow any opponent in whole. Honest. Just leave it to me. 
Huh? My name? Let's see, I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? What are we gonna name the Yoshi? Uh, <laughs> I'm terrible with names. But we will name you... We'll name you Norman. Norman the Yoshi. I don't know why, but we'll name you Norman. Norman. Hmm, Norman, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez. Let's get out here and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Norman. Yoshi's abilities up right. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. Keep in mind, when you ride the Yoshi, you are breaking its back and all of its eternal organs are bleeding. But just remember, the Yoshi is still moving, so you will be fine. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Notice as the Yoshi is crying inside deeply as you ride it. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. In battle, you can repetitively bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use the gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them back out for massive damage. Just remember though, spitters are quitters. <laughs> Take a rest. Absolutely. All right, those armored harriers are going down. I'm gonna gulp them. Bring them in here. See some acrobatic? I'm not gonna use my hammer, don't worry. I'm gonna gulp them to death. They're gonna get... Bye-bye. All right, take me away. Two better days. Take me away. For our next battle, we got the Mercedes at the Union and the Great Gold Dollars and the Iron Adonis Twins. Yep, I fight to finish with the Armored Harriers. You think you take me on, eh, Gonzalez? Ha! These ultra hard bots will just can't lose. Get your damn ready to pay Don't use your hammer. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks in no time. <laughs> Think what Stanley does again? He never learns. Looks like he brought some new jimpy partner as if that's gonna help him. I will. Don't you worry about it. Yowch! You bite me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron butt, iron and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair! Oh dang bro, he discovered our weak point! Fend. It's okay, little Yoshi. Don't worry. You're just gonna gulp him up and spit him. And bye bye. Have one more battle away from a level up. Oh, do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gondolas! With the win, you made the major league. Now, that yeah, folks, was what I call the wild woolly fat. A diggity dang dude. Keep it up, kid. You're gonna play soccer and tell who we 
Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major league girl. Let's hear it for him. I just can't with that voice that I give him. Oh, yeah, we got a new major league girl. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. And you get to move up to the next room. You received seven points. Mario's rank rose to ten. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubble wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Or Yoshi. Mr. Grubble, I brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. Hmm. Miss Jolie, mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubber. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what did I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Gonzalez, you old Toto. Let me congratulate you, son. I'm major league already, huh? I had a feeling that you were going to play some. Dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting those tuckuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something for you. Go on, take it. You got 30 coins. So yeah, something that has been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday you come champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe, with some frills or something. You look sad, son. Anyway, that's all for another day, pod. Take a pod, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Poor Yoshi, he's crying like when Mario's riding him. He looks so sad. I feel that, Yoshi. I feel that. We'll get through it together, though. We'll get through it together. You and me, Yoshi. We'll go against the world with a squeegee. I don't know why I said that, but this is a major league locker room. Rocker room. You will use this room from the moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. It's a Koopanator, I believe, and then there's a King K in the Major Leagues. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? She! It's the Rock Hawk. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing through up through the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, Skinny. A mustache maimed nigga, Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you? <laughs> what a waste of time. What's your, what's your deal, Gonzalez, huh? Oh, the champ spell? What in the? Hey, you get too close in the rock and you might get rock. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey, you think you could just smack talk the rock hot? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt fake, you shrimpy, no belt having wimps. Did your mama teach you any manners? Whoa, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your bad, your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're the only, you're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. Whoa, I really pushed that guy's buttons, huh? Yeah. Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt's a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? If you want the Cristo star, head to my instructions from X. 
Who the heck is this axe dude? It sounds like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Welcome to the automated system. Tiny spinies, avoid using any items, empty those pockets. Alright, that's fine. We gotta heal my little buddy Yoshi here. Oh, sorry buddy, you're gonna have to wait for me to sleep. Take me, oh rasty poo. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the thorny demons. Yep, I fight to finish with the tiny spiders. Let me at him. Yeah, let bring it. You ready for a beating? Whee! It's gonna be fun poking at you. Get your damn ready to battle! Don't use any items. That's fine. Just gulp them. Gulp them at each other. And then I'll use my quick hammer. Hit them right back to the slammer. And a level up. We're getting badge points, my dude. Bad food. Let's go. Six to nine. We got to tell the winner, the Green Gold Ha 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 How'd that floor taste? How does it taste, though? Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzales. You received 11 coins. Mario's rank rose to 9. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get going to type you some naughty, naughty emails. We don't even need to go to sleep, we'll get the next one. Next battle. Welcome to the automated system. Well, boy, Heidi Gondal, fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then, let me see here. Your next opponent will be ranked eight in the glitch bits, the poker faces. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of those special moves. I think the crowd's made for a long night battle back in the old fashioned days. When I used to be able to just punch somebody I wanted to. No special moves? Alright, bet. I'll just use gulp on these. Gulp and I'll use my earthquake. By earthquake, I mean my quake hammer. Hammer time. Don't use special moves? Alright, bet. I won't. Quick hammer. Bye bye. Didn't even need to use gulp. I don't know if I could use gulp with those. I think they might hit me. <sighs> Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received 12 coins. Mario's ranking rose to 8. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Bye bye. See you next year. Gonzalez, you hear that? We got another email. See what it is, man. Go to the watering hole outside the Gleets Beats. It's from our mystery ex dude. Go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'll give anything to know where this dude is. Uh, you might not want to say that. You know, give anything. Anything and everything. Um. Go to the watering hole, which is over here. Here, bully. Oh, you got a star piece, and then there's a star piece. 
Oh, they're behind the bush too, I think we can grab before I forget. I keep seeing it. Right here? There we go, we got that one. Um, then we got an in coupon right here. Watering hole is right over here, possibly? Talk to this guy? Oh, there's another star piece. Dang, dude, we're star piece right now. Star piece floor. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez? Yeah, you're the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a while ago. Said, look for a thick mustache man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this was the letter talking about this. You got the super hammer. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's so nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool technique. Want to learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard. But I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate until your body twists up. Then press B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Hold down B and rotate. Then press B. Woo! Ooh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. You want to try to get... No! Okay, great. You mastered the super hammer. With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Ooh, can I? Ooh, gee, I almost forgot. You can use super hammer in battle too. Try. See you later, Mario. Good luck on your quest. Before I forget, we need to go back to... So as far as I can tell, that's the hammer new model. That's the Hammerwhack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Gonzalez, email time! Smash the blockade in the minor league locker room. The blockade in the minor league rock locker room, huh? I wonder what's behind it. When they say the hammer chooses the user, it reminds me, I think it's Thor. Good old Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Look, we got our poster. We're making it big, man. And then you got the Hammer Bro, got the Rock Hawk, and then that's the Koopanator. That's a Chain Chomp. Is there anything? Oh, it's Miss Mouse. Well, 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 Mr. Mustache, you made it to the Major League, have you? I keep a whisker tweak, love. Something stinks here, and it's not right cheese. Call it these intuition. Better say it's sorry, my sweet. Oh, it's our Miss Mouse. Then we got the Rock Hawk and the Rock Hawk again. Okay. So, nothing too much, but at least we got our poster up there. We're making it in the big leagues. Yep, I know about you. Princess Mush. I don't know where he's at. I swear. I have no clue where he is at. Ah, Gonzalez, is it? I got the word that you want to move back to the minor league. Locker room. And then I go ahead and smash this block. Good old computers. Alright, so... No, 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 no. Should be this. Isn't it? Oh, it's that button. Okay, so it's this button. Okay. Dubious paper, a letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff on it. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some sort of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. 
You again? Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is a minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's a pro hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Dang, what's up with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on our parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star is here. Bet that we do. That we do. And then I wanna say this is the room that we wanna go to. It's over here. Alright, so what do I. I think next week. Let me check. Yeah, I know I must log in again. So if they're this busy, like streaming right now with Paper Mario, clearly I need a backup on my time. Am I able to back up on it next week? Next Tuesday. No, I'm not able to next week either. Right at least after three. So I worked all those evenings and all they got me on mornings. But then that Tuesday I could work. So the 20th we could probably go back to nights again. So I know my... Oh my god, Mario's falling asleep on me. I know my time has been fairly inconsistent on here about when I want to stream and everything too. I've been trying to get a consistent time but my work schedule is so just hectic right now that it's hard to have that. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to stream much longer because it's just I didn't feel like I have a lot of energy today and I don't want to overdo it by all means. But I will see you guys next Tuesday again. It'll probably be like 3.15ish or so. I think I work like 7 to 3 next Tuesday. And then we should still be on for more night time, I want to say, on Thursday. Let me double check. Thursday, I think I work nights. What day is it? Okay, so we work till six. Yeah, I could do nights probably on Thursday. We'll have Pokemon Blue on Thursday. So, Otherwise, that's all I have for tonight. Everybody have a wonderful night. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.